Hello, my name is Seolito Rodriguez and this presentation is titled How to do content analysis with Yoshi Coder. Uh, you can uh, view this presentation at seolitoblog.wordpress.com and if you have a comment or you want to uh, talk to me you could also reach me at seolito at outlook.com here is the agenda for this presentation. Uh, I will give a uh, brief introduction about uh, uh, the topic. I will define uh, what is Yoshi Coder. Uh, we will go ahead and uh, download and install the program, uh, input text into uh, Yoshi Coder, uh, generate and interpret word frequencies. Uh, we will also generate patterns within a category and finally we will generate and uh, interpret a uh, concordance. And uh, obviously I will uh, have a demo of, of live demo of how to do uh, all these things. So let's let's move along. So what is the purpose of this presentation? Uh, the purpose of this presentation is to demonstrate how to use a program called uh, Yoshi Coder to perform basic content analysis. Uh, Computer-based content analysis is um, uh, it's very common nowadays since there's so much text out there and uh, trying to do content analysis uh, without computers it's it's really tough nowadays now computers are extremely fast and they're very accurate so um, it's a great way to perform some basic content analysis and this is the main purpose of this presentation what is Yoshi Coder? Well, Yoshi Coder is a free, uh, cross-platform, multilingual content analysis program uh, that can be used to do many things. A and again, it's free, uh, so that's the great thing. Um, so you can uh, construct and apply content analysis dictionaries. Uh, with this program, you can also examine keywords in context. You can perform basic content analysis in any language. Uh, you can provide summaries of documents, apply dictionary analysis to the results of a concordance, and uh, you could also uh, provide a flexible way to uh, study local work context and, and, and many more, uh, um, uh, many other things that you can do with this uh, uh, free program. And again, so uh, I will be showing you how to do uh, all these things. Okay, so. Uh, before you can do anything, obviously, uh, the first thing is to uh, download and install the program. And uh, this is a very small, easy program to download. You just basically go to uh, yoshicoder.org, uh, click on Downloads, um, and uh, just follow the basic instructions. Um, you're going to download the latest version. And... Um, and then once you download it, basically you're going to open and start working with it. So um, that's basically what you're going to do in this page. So once you um, uh, run the program, uh, you need to input text into the Yoshi Coder. That's the first thing so that we can analyze it. Now, one thing that I want to mention here, uh, the text that you're going to be um, uh, put it into Yoshi Code, it has to be in plain text. So you have to use a program like uh, uh, Notepad um, that comes with Windows. Th there are a lot of other text editor programs that you could use, but again, this is with Windows. It's right there. There's no need to complicate your life. You cannot use Microsoft Word or OpenOffice or anything like that that contains formatting. It has to be in plain text. And um, so basically you can go to the uh, the uh, whitehouse.org, whatever in Google, look for whatever you want to analyze. In this case, I'm going to be analyzing uh, a speech uh, uh, by uh, President Barack Obama. And um, so you just basically, you know, copy and paste it into Word and then you input it into the program. So um, 
if you click on so the basic steps are basically you open the program you click on the document uh, uh, um, uh, tab over there uh, browse to whatever you save the file so obviously uh, if you copy and paste in, into notepad you need to save the file somewhere uh, in my case I saved uh, the file to the desktop I'll, uh, I will be showing you uh, uh, in a couple of minutes when we do the demonstration so once uh, you uh, uh, basically add uh, the document to um, the program, uh, one of the first things that you can do is do a uh, count words. And so you can have an idea of uh, the words and, and how uh, frequent each word is used in the whole document. Uh, and again, we'll see that uh, in a moment. So do count words, current documents. You could basically uh, um, uh, open a document. So you can do either the, the current document, which is already open, or you can select another document. And, um, and, and that's what we're going to be doing. So here is a window showing a report. Um, so you just click on report, you know, count words. And here's the report. Um, I, I sorted the words over here. If you looked at the, uh, the blue line over there, you noticed that I highlighted uh, the word immigration. And uh, uh, in the count column, we noticed that it was used 30 times. And then on the uh, uh, proportion, it's basically the percentage compared to the rest of the words over there and you know, how often the president uh, used uh, this word. So um, here I went ahead and, and created a couple of uh, categories. If you look at uh, on the left over there on the, on the, the dictionary uh, section, I created um, the immigration as a category and then I added um, a pattern. Uh, we'll, we'll be talking about that in the program in a minute. And I also create another category called system and I also created. So basically I have two categories and two patterns. Uh, notice in the middle of the test uh, the, the highlighted words in yellow. So you can basically highlight the words so that you can see, um, um, you know, you can find those words easily. And also uh, um, at the bottom over there beneath the, the document, notice how uh, the word immigration or the different forms of the word immigration like immigrants, immigration. Uh, you can you can see the words in the middle, and then you have uh, context over there. So you can basically look at the words in context, and uh, those are the kind of things that we'll be doing in the demo. Okay, so here we go. This is the moment that some of you have been waiting for. Uh, let's take a look at a demo and how to uh, use Yoshi Coder and do those things that I just talked about. Okay, so uh, I'm going to explain here how to download and uh, install and run uh, Yoshi Coder. So the first thing is, you know, you go to the web page, uh, yoshicoder.org, and um, just click on the download link right over here. And uh, click on the latest version, which is this link right here. And notice how it says, you know, uh, your download will start in five seconds. So again, if you wait, and uh, there you go. Now, depending on the browser that you have, uh, this will look uh, differently. Um, in my case, I have Internet Explorer uh, version 11. And then notice uh, down here how this is the file. And uh, I can either run it directly from there or I can save it. In this case, I'm going to save it. Um, and I'm going to click on uh, Save As. And I'm going to put it right on the desktop just for ease of use. So I'm going to click on Save. And, and it says uh, Yoshi Coder already exists. And that's because I have already uh, downloaded the program and played with it you know, uh, for uh, recording this video. So in my case, I'm not going to replace it, but you know, you, I hope you got it. So uh, I already have it. So I'm going to say now in your case, you would say yes, and you would download the program. And, and that's it. You can now close this window. Uh, it's a very small, short program. And, uh, and here it is. 
it's not actually an installable program so once you install it so if you if you double click on it uh, you're gonna get this uh, warning but it's okay because I, I know that this is a safe program so I'm gonna click on run and so this is basically a, a Java based program so th there's nothing installed on start so if you go to start and you look for the program you're not basically gonna find anything so every time you need to run it just basically come over here and execute the uh, downloader so uh, here is the uh, the uh, a new project on saved blank window. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is uh, we need to add a document. And again, so remember that this program is used for content analysis. Um, in this example, I'm going to take um, a speech. Uh, by uh, President Barack Obama and I'm just going to analyze it. I'm, I'm gonna try to guess what the topic was and and uh, just basically do some basic content analysis uh, using this uh, computer-based program. So uh, let me just show you. So I'm gonna go to document. I'm gonna click on here what it says at document and uh, I'm gonna go to my desktop and here is the document that I'm going to analyze. It's the uh, remarks by President in Immigration Town Hall in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, so I'm just going to open this document. So here's the um, here is the name of the document, and uh, this is the the main window that contain you know the um, the information. And here is the name of the project. Obviously, I haven't saved the project, so that's why it says on title. Now. I don't have anything in mind yet. I don't know exactly what is it that I'm looking for. Uh, so you can basically come come in here with an open-minded and just try to look at the document and see what the topic is and what Barack Obama is addressing, that kind of stuff. You could also have a different approach. So let's say that you, um, if the president is talking about immigration, then okay, let's see, you know, how frequent uh, he uses the word immigration, for example, or the word uh, system and, and that sort of stuff. But in my case, we're going to start with just basically uh, taking a look at this document and, and, and see what um, the president is talking about. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to go to uh, report and uh, I'm going to go to count words and obviously I want to look at the current document and okay so here we go this is I, I I really love this this program this is awesome because uh, so so here you get this kind of um, uh, plain little program kind of like an Excel looking like and, and the thing is you can if you click on this if you click here uh, for example you can you can basically uh, do sorting so if I do this again so notice how I can now sort and look at uh, here's the name of the word uh, here is the count that's how many times what is the frequency that the president used in this speech and then here is the proportion the percentage of that word compared to uh, uh, to all the words in in this document so and, and if we just um, scroll down a little bit uh, let's concentrate a little bit on, on this word, immigration. Wow, okay, so in this speech, the president used the word immigration 30 times. So even if, it, if I didn't know anything about this document, if I just came in, you know, blindfolded, and I just wanted to look around, I have a very uh, good guess right now, smart guess, that this document, the main topic, was actually immigration. And um, so if we uh, scroll down a little bit more and maybe we'll look at, uh, actually I could I could sort by word over here and um, and if I scroll down maybe I'm gonna look something like system, you know, since this is the immigration system that I already know that that's what he was talking about because I, I worked on this before, but um, if we look around and uh, system, okay, so uh-huh, so okay, here we go, I'm in trouble finding the word system, so, there you go, so uh, system was mentioned um, 18 times 
So immigration, you know, and system, a lot of times, then we have a good guess what this is all about, just, just to give you an idea. And then, you know, here is the proportion of uh, in percentage what uh, that were compared to the rest of the world. So again, you can sort this out. And um, so you can basically, uh, if you want to do more stuff with this, you could also uh, highlight the whole thing. You can do uh, uh, copy. If you right click, copy won't do anything. But if you do control C on the key, Board that would also put it into the clipboard so that you can go then into Excel and then you can do Control V uh, and paste it and then you can do more uh, analysis with Excel. Obviously, it's a very powerful program that you can do a lot more stuff. But anyway, so it, it is awesome that you can do sorting right here and that you can copy and paste directly into Excel. I, I really appreciate uh, those features of this uh, uh, free program. So I'm going to close this. And um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to create a couple of uh, categories. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to click on uh, add category. And one of them, it's going to be immigration. Okay. And I'm going to come here again. I'm going to right click and I'm going to add another one. And this is going to be a uh, system. So for this example, we're just going to work with these two categories. And now on immigration, I am going to add a pattern. So I'm going to click on add pattern. And here I'm going to immig OK, so immigration and then I'm going to do a shift and then the asterisk. And the asterisk is, is kind of like a wild card. So it's going to take um, all combinations of the words like immigrants, immigrations, uh, immig you know, immigrated to the United States, whatever. So any forms of the word immigration, it, it, you know, it will create a pattern because of that. So I'm going to click OK. And here we go. So I got that pattern over there. Then I'm going to come here in system. I'm going to right click again and click on pattern. And here I'm going to type sys and maybe uh, system, systems. Um, uh, there's not too many uh, combinations for this. But anyway, so I'm going to click OK. And here we go. So I got those two uh, categories and then I have those two patterns over there. If you select the, uh, select one of the categories in this, in this case, immigration, and I'm going to go to uh, click on concordance and I'm going to click on uh, this option where it says make concordance. And this is what happens. So here you have all the combinations of the word immigration. So you got immigrants, uh, immigrant, immigration, etc. And notice how we have this word in context. So you have um, you know, words here to the left and to the right. So you can look at, you know, what he's talking about and the context in, in the context is really important in content analysis. Okay. Sometimes the words by itself doesn't have any meaning, but you know, where did he use it? How did he use it? Uh, another thing you can do over here, you could basically right click on this also, and you can click on highlight entry. And this will highlight, you know, all the entries and all the sentences where the word immigration uh, was uh, 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 was referred to. And, and you can do the same thing with these things, you know, the with the other words and try to do that. And and basically, that's what uh, this program is all about. It's um, it's a basic program, but it's very powerful. It's uh, it's it's easy to use, and I think it's it's very helpful. So uh, especially for politicians if you if you want to uh, investigate and see what someone is talking about let's say that you know uh, a politician says that he cares about I don't know the economy and then you look at one of his or her speeches and you analyze that well you care about the economy but in this speech you only mentioned the word economy two times, you know, then do you really care about the economy? So that kind of stuff. So I think that, that uh, especially, you know, I, I can see great use uh, for uh, politicians and, and uh, uh, people that 
uh, looking to find out what the other uh, also for psychology you know if you actually want to uh, kind of profile a person and when he writes and that kind of stuff so again there you go this is uh, how you used uh, um, uh, Yoshi Coder you could you could save this project if you wanted to just click on uh, file and save the project or, or save as if you want to use it later if not then you can close and uh, uh, and there you go so uh, I hope that uh, uh, you find this you feel useful and that you start using uh, this program I know I will okay so we have come to the end of the presentation uh, let's see what we have covered uh, we talked about Yoshi Coder, what Yoshi Coder was and uh, we downloaded and installed the program uh, we input text into Yoshi Coder we generated and interpret word frequencies uh, generated patterns and, and categories and we also generated and interpreted uh, uh, concordance uh, I hope that um, this has been informative and that you have learned something thanks for watching remember that for this and other videos you can go to sellitoblog.wordpress.com